Good morning. Hi, Lorena. How are you? Good morning, Regan. Doing well. How are you? I'm doing really well. I'm excited to have this conversation with you today. Me too. So for those of you watching, this is Lorena Cipriani. She is the director for centralized recruiting delivery for our RCD division. And she is here to talk about what it's like being an ally to the LGBT plus community. And this is especially relevant because we are heading into or into Pride Month. So thank you so much for agreeing to speak with me. Absolutely. Very excited about it. So I guess the first question I want to ask is, why is being an ally to the LGBT plus community so important to you? I think it's important for all of us, especially still in this day and age where there's still a lot of misinformation going on and unfortunately also a lot of unsafety going on for the LGBT plus community um, that we should speak up and do uh, speak out about misinformation, making sure that we are uh, educating people about equal and fair treatment as well. Um, and being that outspoken person that uh, creates a safe space uh, for our partners in the LGBT plus community as well. I think as human beings, we all want to be seen, respected and connected and feel safe in an environment as well. So as an ally, I think it is especially important to um, have a little bit of that power to really speak up and help creating that safe space. And what top tips can you share for your colleagues who want to be better allies while at work? Absolutely. The thing that I always share is um, educate yourself. Um, I think it's so important to really do some more information if you're unsure of like, what does LGBT plus stand for? What are these pronouns? What else is happening uh, in that community? Um, do your research. Dare to ask questions. Um, people are very open to talk about. Inform yourself, but also there to create, again, that safe space. You're going to hear that a lot from me. I think that's very important. Make sure that you're including everyone as well. Um, make sure that you are also that leader at, that shares that information, even as a peer as well, um, that will have those conversations. Meaning if we also are doing certain things as a team, build, what, include everyone. Have the same conversations with people from the LGBT plus community as you would with uh, heteronormative partners, basically. So just be that person. Show that you care. And if you hear something that is not not okay, speak up. Um, I think that's one thing that people sometimes are hesitant about, especially in the workplace, um, where they're like, oh, we want to keep the peace for everything. But at the same time, you're not keeping the peace for everyone. If you hear something that's not okay, you should actually speak up and inform people um, and make sure that your uh, people who are from the LGBT plus community feel truly uh, supported and safe in the environment and can be their true selves. I couldn't agree with you more. I know for me, I wanted to be more educated and informed. So we were uh, not too long ago hosting some informational sessions without an equal. Yes. And I found that to be really eye opening. And I had a lot of questions and it was just, it was extremely um, informative. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I walked away feeling more educated. And so um, for me, that's something that I make a personal task to do. Mm -hmm. So Keeping in mind with that, what's one thing that you wish people understood more about the LGBT plus community? Um, I think what is important for people to note is, again, we're all human beings who have the same feeling of wanting to feel included, wanting to be seen, wanting to be heard, wanting to be our full selves. Um, I think you and I both and everyone else we work with, we're looking also for not just our personal environment to be safe and where we can be our true selves, but also our work environment. We're looking for places uh, with values that we can match with. And if those values are not truly aligning, um, you you feel in a bad space. You can't truly feel like, oh, I don't belong here. Um, so I think that is important for people to know, for everyone in the LGBT plus community as well, people are looking for representation, for friends, for colleagues who really let them be their true selves and just feel at home, honestly, in every place that they are. Um, I think that is one of the biggest things that people should start realizing. I agree. I've been in spaces as a person of color where I haven't felt like I've belonged. And I will say, ever since joining Ronstadt, that ex exact opposite. I love the fact that we have so many resources. We have so many colleagues that are willing to accept you for who you are, that you really can be your true self. So I think this is really relevant um, for employees in the LGBTQ community. Um, 
with that, how are you celebrating Pride this year? I actually am going to Dallas. So I work remote from Colorado, but I'm actually flying into DFW to visit my team. And we're setting up in, in uh, Dallas uh, Pride, basically, with my team. So we're going to Dallas Pride Festival. Uh, we're basically having a stand there. We're encouraging everyone to come visit, bring their friends, family, and just celebrate and encourage that inclusion. I'm also bringing, my team doesn't know it yet, a LGBTQ plus flag to the office. I'm just going to put it on the wall there and just make sure that everyone is celebrating it and I want it to be there not just for June but the entire year once I come back to Colorado as well my friends and I we're all really strong allies we're also going to a uh, pride festival basically here in Colorado um, but at the same time we're also again educating ourselves more we're looking more into how can we support certain charities for instance I bought a really cute t-shirt I'm waiting on from uh, a true ally partnership uh, community where they also do charity for so I'm buying very purposely from certain places I'm making sure I'm reading a little bit more about LGBTQ as well um, it's also ever changing we're also ever learning and I want to make sure that I'm on top of things and can educate others as well, but also I can still be educated. So a lot of things that we're trying to do in this month of June. And I love that. And I love the fact that you brought up, it shouldn't just be for one month. This is something yes. that you can be involved with. You can educate yourself. You can inform yourself 365 days a year. So Absolutely. kudos to you. Yes, absolutely. And I think that's something that we have to do. I think it's important that, yes, we highlight it in June um, for all the reasons and the history that's behind it and to educate people. But I agree with you. It doesn't end in June. We should do this year round and we should be uh, really top of mind with that as well. Well, thank you so much, Lorena. I love hearing about what you're doing and the insights that you share. And hopefully this inspires people to get involved, especially since we have a Pride BRG and now a global Pride BRG. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Um, this was great just talking about it. And hopefully some people are inspired and some people uh, look forward to being educated more or going to that global BRG platform as well and just get some more information journey as well. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you.